Well, it's time to uh, work on mounting the hardware to get that out of the way before I uh, put the drawers together. So here's one of the drawers here with the, the holes drilled. And uh, what I did was I, again, copying the way uh, they were done on the original, he uh, centered the, uh, the brasses. And um, all of them start three inches from the, the edge. So it was a matter of uh, measuring them over there, three and a half inch on center. And uh, they're centered this way across it. So they're curved. So I've got a block here that has a radius that's uh, slightly uh, sharper than the radius on the uh, on the front of the uh, drawers. So what I do is take the sta strap clamp here and put it on, bang on it a little bit with the uh, dead blow hammer. We don't want it to to dent it. So now they've got a curve on them that uh, fits this curve quite nice. Let's take a look at the screen here. We'll zoom in a little bit so you can see that. So now it's a matter of putting on the uh, posts and handle or bail. So these are the, uh, the posts here. And they're square at the top. So we're pushing them into round holes. We're whacking it with a wooden side of the mallet there. But uh, there's one on. Well, I've got all the brasses mounted now, and they came out pretty well. Uh, I don't know that I could do them any better. And just for um, information purposes, since it's curved, I did drill the holes at a seven degree angle uh, going um, into it, so uh, that they would be uh, mounted correctly. So the next thing to do is to, to work on the locks. So I'll take the hardware back off and uh, then uh, cut the mortises and uh, keyholes. So I'm uh, routing the lock mortises now and I use my templates to mark out where uh, they need to be and then I saw along this line here for the deep mortise and then I'm um, using the uh, router plane here to keep it nice and flat and it doesn't take long to get down to the bottom this will have to be flattened there's uh, needs to be a mortise here equal to the thickness of the brass so that's what it'll slip into eventually. But this jig uh, keeps the router plane square to the surface because there's no flat surface on the back of these uh, on the back of these drawer for, uh, back of these curved drawer fronts. So uh, that's what we're doing here. Well, now that I got the mortise cut on the back here, before I can set the pin exactly where it needs to be, I've got to cut in the top mortise here because the lock is so thick. So what I do is I turn it upside down like this to draw a line around it to uh, set the size. And then I'm using the... Uh, router plane here to carefully 
and then we can with the clear out the material and we got about an eighth of an inch this is what the brass is And it doesn't take too long to get it down to the correct thickness. It's just about there now. One or one or two more passes. That should do it. Yep. So now that I've got all the mortises in, so we got a top mortise and the shallow and deep mortise here. Hopefully the lock fits in there. And of course the pin is still in the way. But that's how I mark where the pin is hitting the So now we got a now we have a spot that we can drill. So this is the pilot hole. And that's a good fit. So it's flush up top here and uh, flush all back here. And hopefully the hole, the pin is right in the center of the hole. Well, I've got the uh, lock mortise uh, now cut into the the back and it fits in there just so so we're pretty good and then I drilled the hole from the front uh, here for the pin uh, of course I put a pilot in from the back where I had marked it so now we got to cut the keyhole so I have the uh, scutcheon here which has been bent. I bent it on the same block. I bent the, the outward ones. I bent, bent the inward ones so that it's uh, bent to fit in the inward and then line it up with the hole on top and then make sure that it's square to the edges. Yeah. Now it's straight. So then we uh, trace the line. Where the keyhole is. And while I'm at it. We trace the circles where the nails need to be. That should do it. So now I got to cut this out with a keyhole saw. So this is the keyhole, and we have a keyhole saw here.
Who's the ghost? So we'll clean it up here with a round file. That's better. Well, it seems to be right square in the center there. So then I got to put the escutcheon on. So I uh, pre drilled the holes here where I had marked them before. And I'm only tapping them in here a little bit. That looks pretty good. Seems to be just right. So now I gotta uh, take it apart and uh, get ready for uh, finishing uh, of the, the drawer fronts. So this, this finishes the drawer fronts. Uh, so now I'm gonna work on the top.